Number 32, calculate the mole fraction of each solute and solvent. And then we have letter A. So we have 583 grams of H2SO4 and 1.50 kilograms of water, the acid solution used in an automobile battery. Okay, so we want to find out the mole fraction of the solute and the solvent. Now, always the smaller amount, which is generally going to be a solid, is going to be dunked into the liquid medium, which is the solvent. And together, the solute and the solvent make up the whole entire solution. Now I have 583 grams of H2SO4, and this is being dunked in some you know, value of water, 1.50 kilograms of water. So the H2SO4 is going to be your solute, while the water is going to be the solvent. And together, they make up one happy solution. <laughs> But let's find out that mole fraction. The formula for a mole fraction is this. Maybe I'll just put it up here. Now, mole fraction generally is used as an x value. So whenever, if you do see x's, the x just represents that we're just trying to find out the mole fraction. And if we are trying to find a mole fraction, it can only be for one compound at a time. So in this case, since they want us to find it both for the H2SO4 and the water, we have to do two formulas. But if we wanted to find out the H2SO4, any fraction is just a part divided by a whole. In this case, if we wanted to find out the H2SO4, it would be the moles of that compound divided by the total moles. Mole, mole, mole. But uh-oh, grams and kilograms. So the first thing I have to do is I have to convert 500 583 grams of H2SO4 into moles of H2SO4. And I have to do the same thing with the water, right? Now, in this case, they gave us 1.50 kilograms of H2O. But generally, we can always go from a gram value to a mole value. But kilograms, the first thing I would do is I would just convert the kilograms into grams. And how we can do that, kilograms into grams, all you got to do is just times by a thousand. Similarly, just take the decimal, move it to the right three times. So this would be the same as one, five, zero, one, two, three, one more zero, and that's grams of H2O. So that's your starting amount for your water. You have one. 1,500 grams of H2O, and we want to go to moles of H2O, and maybe let's just make it pretty. Let's put grams in red, moles in the red. How beautiful is that? Okay, so now grams to moles. Back to basics, right? Anytime you want to go from grams to a mole value, all you got to do is just take that value and divide by the molar mass. So now we got to go on the periodic table to find out what the molar mass is of H2SO4. Well, I have two hydrogens, and each hydrogen is 1.008 on my uh, periodic table. If you want to simplify to one, that's fine with me. We're going to add that to one sulfur, which is 32.06. And then I have four oxygens. That's each 16. So two times... 1.008 plus 32.06 plus 4 times 16. And I'm just making sure that everything looks good. Everything looks good to me. Let's press enter. And I get 98.076. So I'm going to take the 583 and divide it by 98.076. So 583 divided by that number, and now we have the moles. 5.944, that's good enough. And that's how many moles of H2SO4 we have. Now, I wanna take the grams of H2O and convert to the moles, but I have to find the molar mass. 
I have two hydrogens now, so 1.008 times 2, and plus the oxygen, which is 16, 2 times 1.008 plus 16, I get 18.016, so I'm just going to take that number and divide it by 18.016. 1500 divided by that number, and I get 83, a lot of moles. It's a solvent, so it makes sense. 83.2, I don't know, 26? That looks good to me. Now, we found out the moles of each individual compound, but in order to find the mole ratio, or the mole fraction, we have to find the total moles. Well, we have 5.944 moles of H2SO4, and we have the 83.26 moles of H2O. If we just add these together, that will get you the total moles. So 5.944 plus 83.26, we get roughly about 89.204 total moles. And now we're ready to rock and roll. So we'll do a mole fraction, two of them, and we'll just set this up. So I know that it's going to be something equal to um, our, our guys here. Okay, so this looks good. Okay, so for the first one, we have the moles of H2SO4. So the total moles for H2SO4, the moles of the compound, is 5.944 divided by the total moles that we had to add everybody up. So that's the 89.204. Then when it comes to the water, if we wanted to find the mole fraction of the water, it's those moles, 83.26 divided by the total, which is 89.204. So now, let's find it out. So we got H2SO4, and we got... H2O. Okay, so H2O4, 5.944 divided by 89.204. 0. Point, and I guess three sig figs here. So 0. 0.0666 as the mole fraction for H2O4. Was that on purpose? I do not know. And then 83.26 divided by the total moles, and you get 0 0.933. No units for a mole fraction, because it's just a fraction. And just know that um, if you did this perfectly, and we found, up, we found out both components of everybody that's in the solution, if you take those now, those mole fractions, and you add them together, what total fraction would you get, or what total number? Let's say 0 0.0666 plus 0 0.933. Very, 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 very close to 1. And that's how it should be, because all your fractions added up is always going to be equal to 1. And that's it. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to helping you in more questions. Um, keep studying hard. Always keep learning. And I will talk to you in later lessons. Okay, bye-bye.